Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been away for a month. Um, my laptop broke, but I'm back now. I am joined today by a very special guest. Me. My dad. <laughs> a lot of you may know him from my Instagram as Soul Phil. Why do people know you? They know me for my many cycling stories. Soul pictures. So my dad always comes with me to like makeup events and stuff. So a lot of you guys know him through that and he's always on my stories and everything. And a lot of you requested that I do a video doing his makeup, but I thought, what better than that I could do is drag makeup. <laughs> so that is what we're going to be doing today and perfect timing because June is also Pride Month so celebrating drag queens is great. <laughs> also speaking of drag queens, Alyssa Edwards just launched her collection with Anastasia Beverly Hills so I think we'll be diving into that today and putting that on my dad's face. <laughs> Also over on Instagram I asked you guys to ask us loads of questions so we will be answering those throughout the video to keep you guys entertained if you're not just here for the makeup. So without further ado let's get right on into it. So first off my dad does not have girly eyebrows so we're going to cover that with some glue stick but <laughs> we are going to fast forward through this part because it is a bit boring and we'll get to the good parts as soon as we can. Okay, so a slight problem. <laughs> My dad is like five shades darker than me. Uh, so we're gonna have to use some concealer all over his face. <laughs> and also another issue is like three different shades. <laughs> <laughs> so let's improvise. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right colour, probably not, but we're gonna just try and put this all over his face and hope for the best. Okay, so the first colour like was not match whatsoever. So I recovered him in shade number six of Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. That looks a bit better of a match. <laughs> why is why are you so tanned here? Because I was facing one way down a roof. Okay, so do you want to introduce yourself, Dad, and tell everyone at home what you do? So I'm Phil, Abby's dad, obviously. Most people know me as Solo Phil on Instagram. Go for him. <laughs> <laughs> for some cycling photos. Cycling photos, odd stories to do with Abby. Why Solar Phil? I run a, a solar company. My uh, Insta is mainly cycling photos, so it's nothing particularly exciting, but you do see a little bit of stories if I'm out and about with Abby. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Okay, so do you want to start on some questions? Huh? Yep, I am anyway. So Clara asks, what is your dad's favourite makeup look that you've done? Ooh, um, I actually think one of the Koi ones from quite a while ago. I do like the uh, Gucci Snake and the Instagram one, the Instagram border. Someone in the comments as well also asked what was your least favourite look? Um, I've already seen that I've got any. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't really think of anything that I, I don't particularly like. They're all things that I couldn't do so I'm always impressed. <laughs> Snatchety bitch asks, does your dad still hate your curly blonde wig? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why? I don't know. It's I a don't nice like it. wig. <laughs> it might be snack city bitch. <laughs> snack. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid things. No, you don't do very <laughs> stupid things. What's really bad is that I can't really think of anything embarrassing. <laughs> so, tripping up when you were about four years old and landing on a step with your head. Oh yeah. Leaving yourself a nice scar. <laughs> I cracked my head open on a step. I don't know if you can see the scar, probably can't. I don't know if you usually can see it. If I go like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it there. Fuck. Okay, now we're gonna bake you. Okay, we're going to start on the eyes now. Sophie Jerem asks, of all time, who's your favourite drag queen from Drag Race? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Come on, you must know a couple. Uh, Aquarius. Yeah, yes. <laughs> 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 Abby? Aquarius, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say that Drag Race is an all time favourite show of mine. Okay, so now we're moving on to the exciting part, which is of course the eyes using the brand new Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I've got the sticky bit on again. So big nails, not an advantage. 
Okay, so I'm first going in with the blue. So Caitlin Shaw and Ray asks, if your dad was a drag queen, what would his drag name be? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, well, somebody's going to have to do this one for me because I have no idea. Everyone should put in the comments what we should name you. <laughs> it's almost as though it is plain. <laughs> oh, SFX by Harvey. How was happy as a baby? Very smiley. <laughs> <laughs> she had a love for long words, especially polystyrene. <laughs> dinosaur names. Yeah, and remembering dinosaur names. Apparently a sign of intelligence. <laughs> okay, Greta's asked, how do I get my dad to understand the artistry of makeup? Ooh, good one. I'd say, looking over, some of the more technical artists, like Abby of course, or some of the stuff that James does, or uh, Rossio. Loads of people that do really detailed, really difficult work. It's definitely art. Iris Benington asks, what would you think called if you were a boy? Jack? Yes. Mm, I can't yes. remember. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How can you not remember? Because <laughs> you didn't get called it, so I can't remember. Mm. Yeah, Mum's got a bit of money for this, that's fine. Stacy Baby says, Did people ever make fun of you in school because of what you do? Yes, love you. In the very beginning, when I was first starting out doing YouTube, in all fairness, I was not very good at makeup. <laughs> People did use to take the make a bit and make fun of me, but as soon as I started being successful with it and people online, I started getting the recognition and stuff, then they soon shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but now pretty much everyone from school and everything, they're all really supportive. It doesn't really happen anymore. Lana Del Rey's Tropico says, mm -hmm. when was the very first time you did makeup? Include a pic if you have one. I think this is for Abby. I've never done makeup. Yeah, I don't know. Was it at Halloween or something? Do you remember? Oh, that? yeah, tell a lie. I've done makeup. Yeah, you have. <laughs> My dad used to do makeup um, like every Halloween, pretty much like before I did it even. Latex man. Yeah, mm -hmm. prosthetics. Yeah. yeah. You were really good at it. So, like, the first time I did makeup was probably just doing my own Halloween makeup. I don't even remember which thing it was, it was so long ago. Yeah, you're probably about seven or eight now, so. Yeah, <laughs> a long time ago. Ruby asks, What did your dad think when you started wearing makeup, like full glam? Papa Roberts? I think at first I thought it was maybe a little bit early. I don't know. He didn't seem concerned, so I thought it was probably not for me to be concerned. But it wipes off, doesn't it? Yeah. Enjoy it as well. Yeah, if I hadn't started so young, I wouldn't have been able to get to where I am. So that, that's the, the idea that to get good at anything takes 10,000 hours. So once you've done 10,000 hours at something, you're a professional. If I've you've got definitely it. done that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now on to the worst part, which is eyebrows. Eyebrows always go bad for me, but we did the first one off camera and it actually went pretty well. I'm kind of Juliet says it's cool to see the relationship between you and your dad. Have you guys always been like that? Oh. Well, I think I'll just let you answer that one. Yeah, I mean, we always used to play Call of Duty together when we were younger. <laughs> <laughs> she don't play Call of Duty with me anymore. I don't have time. <laughs> I'm too busy doing makeup. <laughs> but yeah, we always used to play video games together, but definitely like having to go to London all the time. My dad has to drive me down every time because I can't drive, so we have to spend a lot more time together. Although she's usually asleep. Pretty much. <laughs> school asks, was I being an A-star student? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, she's always been very academic. Got everything done that she needed to get done and got good results so far. Yeah, so far I kind of gave up. <laughs> When the makeup stuff started happening, I was like, yeah, duh, time for school. <laughs> and to be fair, we were actually very supportive of her finishing, but she wanted to make sure that she saw her air levels through. So, very proud. These are like my favourite eyebrows I've ever done. Ruben Oscar asks, if you could be happy for a day, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'd pick that question. Um, 
I don't know. Uh, it'd be nice to have the talent to be able to do a look, because I certainly haven't. <laughs> I suppose it may be experience in going somewhere and being recognised. <laughs> That's quite novel. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it really happens that often. No. Ruben also wants to know a funny story about Abby when she was little. As the fact that one of her very first words was polystyrene. <laughs> A bit unusual for a bit <laughs> unusual for a two year old. <laughs> or oh, picking things off the carpet because she thought it was dirty. Being a bit of a detail girl, she didn't like the bits of fluff on the carpet. <laughs> or shouting, Oh my god, on the bus at somebody on the bus <laughs> when she was about two and a half. So we're gonna go on to the lashes now and of course it wouldn't be a drag look without a good old 301. These are 301s from Give Face Cosmetics. If you're in the UK, this is a really good drag lash supplier. And sorry dad, these are my old crusty lashes. Nate Artistry asked, what was Phil's favourite makeup event? Mm, I like going to mix award, face awards last year. Yeah, that was really fun. Cool. They had this little um, ice cream stand where they like chop the stuff up and then they roll the ice cream into the rolls on like the frozen thing. And we got to meet uh, the set of as well. They do good. Usually people like can't handle people touching their eyes and like. They're doing good, <laughs> well done. Oh, you look so pretty! <laughs> Uh, it feels so weird. <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody doing anything in this. <laughs> yeah, see, so next time you're running off in London and I've got my eyelashes and my heels on, don't be ditching me. <laughs> the good job you have the same size eyes as me. Like, it fits you perfectly. It feels like my eyes have been closed down to little slits. <laughs> You like see like the big black. <laughs> it's like looking through a letterbox. <laughs> it's like it's just all in my eyes. It's horrendous. It's not that bad. Yep. Okay. <laughs> when you stretch your eyes, the crease goes so big. Like stretch. <laughs> right, we'll put some bottom lashes on off camera, and we'll come back to do the lips. <laughs> This is the final look for the makeup. How do you feel about it? Horrendous. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> the lashes are pure torture. Yes. We've got a couple of questions before we go and put accessories and everything on, so we're just going to ask for those right now. Kida Egg wants to know where would you go if the zombie apocalypse happened right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'd run down the road. <laughs> run away. <laughs> We're obsessed with zombie apocalypse stuff, like we always binge watch all the Netflix movies and TV shows and everything. What's the We've film? thought about this. What's the film? Zombieland. Zombieland. Yeah. Love Zombieland. Zombieland is so good. Zombieland sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> and Illuminati wants to know, when did you both realise you were icons? <laughs> <laughs> now. now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put on a wig and accessories and everything off camera and we'll be right back to show you the final look. I still love you like crazy. I wanna let you know. So this is the final look. How do you feel, Dad? Horrendous. <laughs> What's your favourite part of the look? I like the colour. Oh, God, this wig's warm. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> Would you do it again? Only under duress. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video, I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, it really helps me out. And also if you're new here, please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below and click that notifications bell to make sure that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Also don't forget to go ahead and follow me on my social media, on Instagram at Abby Roberts Artistry and on Twitter and TikTok at Abby R Artistry. There will be a TikTok on this look and I do TikTok pretty much daily and Instagram every other day so there's loads more content over on those.
um, if you're interested. And of course, this week's artist of the week is my good friend Ruben Oscar. So here is Ruben's work. Ruben is so, so sweet, literally probably my number one supporter, always commenting on absolutely everything. So thank you so, so much to Ruben for always following and showing the support. Please go and check out his Instagram. He's super, super talented. Thank you so much, Ruben. So again, thank you all so, so much for watching and hopefully I, not my dad, will see you in the next <laughs> video. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.